I was warned when you get to hope, you need to watch. There is two sides of a mountain and one is always dark. Whatever your heart is, you'll attract. You either attract the bad or the good, you know? And um, a lot of people complain about the drug problems and the um, robberies and things that are going on. And that's the dark side. There is that drug issue. But there's so much good here, and it's what you want to find, and it's what you want to bring out from the town. You could find whatever you want and bring it to your life. But uh, it's been amazing being here, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Hope is an amazing, amazing place with amazing people, and the ability to go to nature and find nature when you need it. And I'm happy to be here. <laughs>
These are slum tenants. Hey guys, uh, this is my room. Um, I was told to clean it. I don't know what to do. Like, some of it I should keep and give away to like secondhand store or something. But like, I have to bleach everything or something because there's like needles and fucking all kinds of shit here. Like, they are smashing it. They do all kinds of things. They turn the lights on. They have ever they are roaming. They do anything. Uh, it's it's bad. It is unreal. It's unrealistic, and I'm powerless to stop it. I think I have control of it. It's this when I get it, I do it till it's gone, and I don't have to worry about it. Uh, you know what I mean? It's really addicting, but I'm sure I can stiff it out. <laughs> Tried meth once. Won't do it again. It's what you see that happens to the people in hope. Like the kids that ride their bikes around that are 20 and live with their parents still. I'm not going to be one of those persons. I'm going to be one of those persons that's way up there. Nice house. All friends. Never fucking piss people off. Always friendly. Kind. Have respect for your elders. Prefer if I'm gonna do my look and have my son on my back. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you can see better. This land up here is so rocky; it makes it tough to to track anything, and it's hard to see. The woods are very thick. <laughs> My purpose in life might just be to like move a rock from one spot to another because if I move a rock to one spot to another, somebody else's meaning in their life will be to stand on that rock and see something or do something. And you know, it could be such some, some simple little thing like that, but everyone's got a meaning and like purpose in life. It starts off with freaking gray aliens, gray aliens and apes. Apes lived on this planet. Gray aliens couldn't because their body structure and their like, just the atmosphere and everything, just it's un like unfeasible for their bodies. So they had to find like a race of like creatures or whatever, a species of creatures that their DNA could like bond with or whatever to create a species that could. So we're like, you know, we're just, they're like offsprings and sort of Sasquatches. Down in the valley there, and they said they seen four, I remember right, four creatures, hair covered, you know, big, hair covered, and they were like they were wrestling and playing around. You know, apes do that. But they said they were throwing each other to the ground, jumping back up and wrestling around and playing. You know, chimps and stuff like that will do that, young ones and whatnot. They seen them doing it. <laughs> oh, hit me in the eye, bitch. <laughs> 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 Awesome. How many people would love to be able to be real and be themselves? To not worry, not to be afraid of what other people think about them or say. And it's not a brashness. It's, there's some people out there that are trying to live that way. I don't know, it just came to me one day. 
Do something different. Yeah. Especially in this town, everybody's two the same. Yeah. There, there has to be somebody in this town that's different. Yeah. I might as well be the outlaw. <laughs> Yeah, being a fun to have nothing over me. This is Cat Bear's party, Here, and if you lunch. don't like it, you can fuck right off. Tags on, bad blood on, guns and bodies on, life is tree. I'm Captain Bill, head of the day, next week day, took the phone. Tags on, bad blood on, guns and bodies on. Silence, everyone! Stay up. I brought my buddy out to fucking go and swim, right? There's these two two fucking waterfalls that we jump across to fucking get up to this cliff, right? It's like a 30 foot cliff, right? A fucking 30, man. Okay, I was like, I was like, buddy, come up and jump off this cliff, right? I fucking jump off this cliff. I land in the water and I go, come out the water. And my buddy's fucking. No. He's saying, he's saying, yo, your buddy's under the water. He's fucking trapped under this rock. He's fucking hanging there. He died after three hours under the water. And that's my story about my fucking buddy Dustin Hope. He's the shit. I love you, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Because I'll deprive you of your life. Deprive you of your last it's a big, it's a, it's a shield, it's a weapon. Yeah, it's the ultimate evil. Next thing you know, I'm in a fucking smoking it. And I'm strong. I haven't done it in days, but I start thinking about my kid. And I start thinking about me. And I start making excuses. And I start whitewashing lies and false truths. And lies. experienced where you I mean what else can you say if, if you've seen the animal been near it had an experience with it you're stuck that's all there is to it once you know it exists there's no turning back and it's so important people listen to me if you're gonna do drugs do all the drugs in little bits, not one drug, in big, big, big amounts, dumb, 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 and look for faces in the mountains, look hard. Go get your fucking ball. Go get your fucking ball. I just hope this film sheds a little light on the detriment these dogs possess to the society obsessed with the persecution of these little critters. If you were from Hope, like I am, and and your family was and stuff, it hurts because. This town is my life, and the forest and the river and the lake around it keep me alive. And I see people that fucking have the potential to do something, and they don't.
I tell people, I'll never forget this. If God stood before me and tried to tell me different, I'd have to tell him, you know, you're wrong. I was there. The, the pounding was big thumps hitting the ground, but the breathing, it was so loud that I remember it was just like somebody cupping their hand over your ear and going, <sighs> you know how your ear would pick up that rush of wind? All I can tell people is it was large and it was biped, much bigger than I am, much bigger, much heavier. But I remember as it was going away, the sound is slowly backing off as the distance. One of the things that amazed me was that it was uh, like a machine. I don't ever remember the pace breaking or the breathing breaking. The two best things going on in my life right now going to the gym and snowboarding all the time. And he went to hit me and I fought back and I punched him in the face and then he started kicking me. And then his friend had to grab him and I left, took all my shit. When he was at home or no one was home. And I let him know I moved out. Told him I'm not going to move back till he leaves. But I moved back because the guy I was living with died in a car accident. There is no closure. We want closure because we want to be able to wake up in the morning without an excuse to be mad, without an excuse to be sad, without an excuse to do the things we do. You can only hope that things are going to change every day. You can only hope that when you wake up in the morning, there's there's a reason to wake up. But is there really? Yeah, there is. Because life goes on. It's, it's the same thing in walking into an unknown experience. You don't know what's ahead, and yet there's something drawing you there. And so you go a little bit guarded. And the only way you can really walk into the unknown is trusting that you're going to be okay. You won't go there if you're afraid. But if you're not afraid, if you've, been, if you've been comforted or reassured that it's going to be okay to walk into the unknown, you'll go. You'll venture there. How old are you? 13. What grade are you in? Eight. You're 13, you smoke pot, you don't like to go to school, so where are you going to go? What do you want to do in life? I don't know. You don't really know? No. Are you just going to live it day by day? Yeah. Well, what if you don't go anywhere? A friend said to me once, he said, Hope stands for He Opens People's Eyes. Isn't that great? Fairly well when you see the stars are falling. Fairly well. Fairly well.